On this episode of Sound Design Bites, we are going to talk about this saw. Now, it's a Japanese pull saw, but you can use various different types of saws and hand saws. You're going to want something that has a fairly thin blade on it uh, for various different reasons, which I'll show in a minute. But uh, you can get quite a few sounds out of it using various uh, things to strike it with. And of course, you can saw with it and get that sound. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what some other sounds we can get out of it. Okay, here we are in contact with a few patches that I've loaded up from my pull saw library. And you can check that out on my website at pureshift.com. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description. So, please go ahead and check that out, as well as some of the other libraries that I have available. First, we have a patch with the bowed saw. I used a cheap cello bow that I picked up off of eBay for about $30. These are great to have around the studio to experiment with. Since Halloween is coming up, I found these sounds quite creepy to go with that, you know, horror film vibe. Second, we have some sounds of striking the saw with the metal rod, which is actually just a long metal knitting needle. These sounds are very percussive, and you could use them for all sorts of things. Finally, we have your typical sawing sounds, which I've gone ahead and looped. These make it easy to use them for Foley sounds or anything like that. Well, that's it for this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Awesome!